everybody this is drew welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about how to be a writer's assistant so what is a writer's assistant a writer's assistant is a person who sits in the room with the writers and takes notes on all the ideas and discussions that the writers are having about the show so typically in a writer's room, the writers do what's called breaking story. So that means that they're pitching ideas, they're pitching different storylines, they're pitching, you know, personal stories from their life. Maybe if it's a comedy room, they're pitching jokes. It's a lot of um, developing the overall seasonal arc of the show and developing the character storylines that you see in every episodic show. So as a writer's assistant, it's your job to basically organize all these free-flowing thoughts that are happening in the room at once from all these writers and put them into a document that's compiled and sent out by the end of the day. So from that document, there are going to be broader stories that are going to break down into different episodes. In each of these episodes, there's going to be an A story and a B story. The writer's assistant is responsible for doing the flashcards, a grid, or an Excel sheet, whatever your showrunner really prefers. And this is going to document the character's journey throughout these episodes. But it's the responsibility of the writer's assistant to make sure these are organized and on track for the writers for when they go to write their episodes. So after you create the flashcards or the grids, you're going to be responsible for making the beat sheet in tandem with the writers in the writer's room. So the beat sheet generally summarizes the different beats in each of the scenes. And some showrunners want them by character, some showrunners want them by storyline, but it's your responsibility as the assistant to make sure that you have the main database of all the beats so that you can send that out to the writers later on. So after the beat sheet, you're gonna create either a loose weave or a deep weave with the writer. So a loose weave and a deep weave both mean to intertwine the stories of the characters so that it creates one scene. You're going to be responsible for making sure you either are writing those on the board or you're typing them in the notes so that all the writers, again, can get that information at the end of the day. And they use this beat sheet when they go off to create their outline. So once the beat sheet, the loose weave and or deep weave and the rough outline is in the hands of the writer, they're going to flesh it out and that outline is going to be proofed by the showrunner and then subsequently you for any typos, grammatical errors, and then go back to the showrunner again and then it'll go out to the network. Once the network sends it back to you and there are no changes, the showrunner gives the writer the okay to go to script. So meanwhile, while the writer is off on script, you're still in the room as a writer's assistant. You're still in the room with the other writers, listening to them break story and making sure you're keeping notes for the next writer who has to do the same exact process. So what are some of the skills that you need to be a good writer's assistant? You need to know how to type, okay? You gotta know how to type fast, keep track of ideas, be organized and really have a good memory because a lot of times the writers will depend on you to um to remember something that maybe happened a week ago or they're trying to figure out where they landed on a story it's very important with the actual document itself of all the notes that you organize them according to subject or what you guys were discussing and where the writers landed meaning what is the the direction that the writers decided they wanted to go in with the story bold it highlight it and just make sure it's clear and concise for everybody to understand i've also gotten this question before on whether or not you should pitch in the room and i honestly think you should wait if you're gonna pitch first of all you need to read the room you need to come into the room figure out what the story is figure out the different angles what's being discussed listen to what the writers are saying before you start pitching ideas and if you're gonna pitch something, pitch something that is on topic. There is nothing worse than an assistant who is pitching an idea that has either already been pitched or is completely divergent from the topic that they were discussing the first time. You know what I mean? You've gotta make sure that you're kind of, as I said, you're reading the room properly. Now, I don't necessarily recommend pitching. I think you really gotta see how the showrunner is feeling and how the showrunner is doing in terms of, um, opening up the room to you I mean to really lower level writers staff writers story editors etc but um just remember you as a writer's assistant you're at the bottom of the totem pole and you are there to soak up the information and make sure that everything is documented so that's your first priority before you even think about going in the room and pitching ideas so what are the pros and cons to being a writer's assistant so the biggest pro is that being in the writer's room is invaluable. You are making television. 
You know what I mean? Like you are really, you're sitting in the room with all these other professional, smart, talented, creative writers, and you're just talking. You're literally the room is it's open. Well, hopefully if it's a good room, it's open. Ideas are free flowing and you're just kind of, you're taking it all in and you see the process of working from uh, no show at all, or maybe just having a concept of a show to breaking out the episodes through the whole season and season arc. So further seasons also. And that type of knowledge is really invaluable and really nothing that you can get from a class or you know um any type of i mean maybe 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 school yes like i didn't go to school for film so i'm sure you can probably do a mock writer's room in school but it's just nothing like actually being in a writer's room itself where you're around these creators and you're actually getting the full force of creating these dramas or these comedies it's just nothing like it Another great pro is that you can get great mentors and you can become the ultimate apprentice because everybody in the writer's room is so smart and they've all come from different walks of life. They've all had different experiences in different rooms and ultimately they are, um, they have all this knowledge that you can gain. You learn how to pitch properly. You learn what works for a showrunner, what doesn't. And of course every room will vary. Um, you learn a lot about the people who you're in the room with. I mean, really, it's it's a little bit like therapy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes, I mean, you yourself as an assistant are not really talking, but everybody else is sharing stories. So you learn a lot about the writers around you. And, you know, you just really, you really learn how to craft character and how to embody the development or embody a good writing on a good show. And you really get that one-on-one -on -one time and that one-on-one -on -one vision of what making a television show and an episodic television show looks like. The ultimate pro is sometimes you get a script. Ah! So depending on how many episodes there are in a season, um, there are typically not as many writers as there are episodes. So let's say there are 12 episodes and there are 10 writers. That's two extra scripts that are available to be written. And I believe it's WGA mandatory that at least one of them has to be a freelance script. So one of them has to go to somebody. So if you are in the room and you've been there from the beginning and you are really, you've done a good job as a writer's assistant and you're taking good notes and you're diligent and you're paying attention and maybe you've pitched a little small thing here or there and you know, your showrunner likes you and you work well with the writers, you might get an opportunity to get a script. And that is a huge deal because that could change your life and get you into the WGA. So it's your first step to really being a television writer. So I think the only con is, and this is the same con I mentioned in my how to be a writer's PA and how to be a showrunner's assistant videos, um, it's long hours. So, I mean, in television, you're typically working between eight and 12 hours anyway, but even if you're working a nine to five for an eight hour day, you're typically there for another hour to hour and a half after, um, just to make sure you're getting the notes done and organized before they're sent out. You know, not that bad. I guess the only other one that I should, I'll mention is sometimes you're, you're mentally exhausted. <laughs> I mean, if like, as the writers are too, like you're sitting in the room trying to make sure you get all the information. So you gotta be present. And like being present eight hours a day or I guess seven hours with lunch is exhausting. So I think that's also something to keep in mind. Like if you have a really short attention span, may not be the job for you. But aside from that, the pros definitely outweigh the cons. So the last question is how do you get a writer's assistant job? And I will say that this is by far out of all the writer's room jobs, the writer's PA, the showrunner's assistant, the script coordinator, a writer's assistant job is for some reason the most difficult to get. And that's because it's so coveted, right? Because you are the closest to the writers and you, if you want to be a television writer, a writer's assistant job is the job to have. Now, this is one of those jobs where, and I hate so much to say this, but it, it, this is very much who you know. It's very much who you know, which is why it's important to for me, I started at a PA level and I worked my way up. 
And I think that when you do that and you have, um, you start making those, those contacts and you build your network, it becomes a little bit easier to, to navigate and to know the who's who and to talk to people and to say, hey, like I'm interested in being a writer's assistant. You know, put yourself out there. Um, because the jobs are, they're not on like LinkedIn, they're not on Indeed, they're not out there. Um, rare, well, very rarely are they out there until you get to at least a writer's PA, showrunner's assistant. I would even say showrunner's assistant level. And then you've built so many contacts within the industry that you start to know um, where there are different job openings at different TV shows. But it is for sure a really highly coveted job, and which can be very frustrating, but also very rewarding once you get into that space. But the best piece of advice is get your foot in the door. And as I mentioned in my how to be a Hollywood assistant video, I started in unscripted television. I started in unscripted and I transferred over. So I think, you know, starting there and getting that basic assistant experience and utilizing that in scripted and then from there starting to build my network and also going to industry events and contacting everybody that I ever knew who worked in television, that is what helped me to progress to get to where I got my writer's assistant job. Now, I personally got my job because I started as a showrunner's assistant, then I got promoted. So I was also a showrunner's assistant for a year and a half, a year and a half before I got promoted. So not saying that's gonna be everybody's trajectory. Some people can do it a lot faster. Some people it might take longer, but it is really a little bit about who you know and doing whatever job you have, doing that well. And then hopefully, you know, you get promoted, you start meeting people, your word gets, your name gets around to different people and you, you know, you start rising up in the, like and the it's rank. definitely something that um, with the right will, the right willpower and the right work ethic, you can definitely get it and you excel at it. So that's it um that's all i got for y'all today so if y'all have any questions about being a writer's assistant or getting in the industry or how i got my job or just anything like that leave the questions below i'm so happy to answer them also you guys can reach out to me i'm on linkedin facebook instagram all the socials and i'll also put those in the description box below but remember y'all if you are going from home to hollywood you got this, okay? So I will talk to y'all later and see you guys next week.